Welcome back explorers, this is Joel Hunt, the Natural Explorer. It's finally summertime, it's June 1st here in Ohio, and yesterday we got three inches of rain, which means that streams and ditches like this beside me are running pretty fast. With the sun and the warm temperatures and the running water, it's perfect growing conditions for my friend here, the narrow leaf cattail. Now I say that in jest because while I like this plant personally, it is highly invasive and that creates problems because it crowds out the, na the native vegetation and it also blocks waterways. So when you get a sudden rainstorm, the water that comes off the roadway into the ditches is unable to flow downstream so it'll create ponding situations. So it is a very successful invasive plant because it spreads in different ways. Um, remember from my earlier video, I talked about rhizomes. Um, rhizomes are those long underground roots where other plants will shoot up. Um, that's one way that this plant spreads. It also spreads by wind. So I went ahead and uh, broke off one of the um, flower heads from last year. Um, now some people call this a cigar. Some people call them a corn dog. Um, we're in between seasons here now, so the flower head hasn't really emerged, but um, this is what you'll get in the fall when everything turns to a fluff. You can give this a squeeze, and literally thousands of seeds will be dispersed into the wind. Um, and where it lands in the soil, it can stay viable for up to 100 years. So again, it's a very successful invasive plant. Um, it does have wild edible properties. so. I was pulling on this a little earlier and it was giving me some problems so I thought I would go ahead and um, pull a stem out um, off camera. Um, anyway, so it's very similar to a leek or to celery. Um, you want to peel back some of these lower branches and you get this nice white um, tip and that's the part that's edible. It's full of starch, it's very nutritious. And while it's a little bland, very similar to, in taste to celery, it is something that you can have um, in a survival situation. Now, speaking of survival situations, um, in the fall when this, this fluff is produced and through the winter, um, you can peel it and it makes an excellent um, fire. So um, I brought with me today um, a magnesium fire starter and I'm going to show you how you can just hit this with a spark and it'll ignite. If you were to harvest this plant on a roadside you need to be careful because you know cars have pollutants and um, those pollutants wash into the waterways so it's probably not a good idea to harvest from a roadside. Um, a better place might be um, around a pond or a lake um, or some sort of wetland, somewhere that's really not contaminated by humans. Um, also, stay, stay away from farm fields where um, they could have actively sprayed either for fertilizers or pesticides. So this is my friend, the narrow leaf cattail. Um, I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please click like and subscribe. And I'd like to take a moment to thank those of you who have subscribed to my channel. Um, again, my goal is to spread as much information about the natural world with as many people as I can, uh, not only for the enjoyment of being outdoors, but for the protection of the environment for future generations. So use the comment box below and let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future. Also check me out on Instagram at Joel Hunt, the Natural Explorer. And until next time, get out and explore.